your local election headquarters. We are still a year from the 2024 primary election, but Democrats already have their sights set on Hanford GOP Congressman David Valadeo. This week, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee released the list of the districts it's targeting in 2024, including the Central Valley's ultra competitive 22nd Congressional District. This was one of the most expensive House races in the nation in the 2022 midterm, with Republican incumbent Valadeo keeping his seat despite Democrats out registering Republicans by 17 percentage points. It comes as data from a national think tank shows Republicans made inroads in California's Latino majority districts in 2022, with the report specifically highlighting the Valley's 22nd district, where Latinos make up nearly 60% of registered voters. The data showed from 2020 to 2022, 10.8% more voters swung Republican in California's 14 Latino majority districts, where both a Republican and a Democrat were on the general election ticket. But analysts say this doesn't necessarily necessarily mean more Latino voters cast a ballot for a GOP candidate, and it could be a reflection of low Democratic and Latino turnout. I think the Republicans were heavily concentrated on District 22. I think they invested more money. I think the numbers show that they did invest more money. And I think that you really need to study who your voters are and who's going to turn out, or you need to really double down on investing in young voter turnout. That is usually very low. This is something that I've always told my colleagues here in Washington is, um, we've got a lot of people who come to this country for opportunity. Uh, we should be talking to them. Sometimes we have to talk to them in different languages. I truly believe that the Republican Party is the party that, want, that supports people having the opportunity to be successful, work hard, keep their money, and make their own decisions and live their lives. Republicans made reaching out to Latino voters a big part of their midterm strategy, with the RNC even opening a Hispanic community center in Bakersfield just ahead of the election.